What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the sun, well, you've come to the right place. We're gonna be talking about a video that Corey X Kenshin made today. I know, I know, I'm late, but honestly, when have I ever been on time? Plus, I haven't made a video in like two weeks, so honestly, you guys ought to be glad that I remembered that I had a channel. Before we start, I feel like I should emphasize this, because I feel there may be some people who don't understand nuance, so I'm gonna get this out of the way real quick. What's happening to this guy is legitimately unfair and it shouldn't be happening and I don't blame him for making the video. But that being said, there are parts of it that, in my opinion, don't make much sense and, well, I'm a commentator. I comment on what I see, so I'm gonna give you my two cents. Then there's gonna be people who say, well, Slick, you're white. You don't know a damn thing about racism. Maybe so. Maybe so. But that don't mean I can't use a little bit of common sense here and there to come to a few conclusions on my own. Just because someone makes an issue about race don't mean that my opinion's somehow irrelevant. So this is the video, you probably know what it is by now, YouTube, racism, and favoritism. We won't be looking over the whole thing, just the meat and potatoes, but I'll do my best to put everything into context, because honestly, I'm not out to make this guy look bad or nothing. I just want to give him a fair shot and speak my piece. To save some time, this is basically about a video he made of the mortuary assistant. It got age restricted by YouTube, and his appeal to the restriction was rejected. From my limited understanding of the YouTube algorithm that tends to kill videos real fast. They don't tend to get as much views or engagement, so it stands to reason as to why he'd be upset. Thing is, there are a lot of people making videos on this game, but they weren't having their videos age restricted, so he reached out to his partner manager to clear up a few things. My YouTube rep who isn't on the policy team, he looked at my video and he said, hey, it could possibly be this part at the end where the woman was battling some depression and I'm just gonna leave it there lest this video also get age restricted just cause I'm talking about it. Now I think this part is funny because it really reflects just how disorganized the bureaucracy of YouTube is. I mean not even the partner manager knows why the video was restricted. Doesn't that defeat the point of such a position? I'd think that having a partner manager would serve for a little more transparency between creators and the people running YouTube but I guess not. So I looked at that part the first thing I did was try to find other YouTubers who had that part, or at least a part similar. Now Markiplier, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I just want you to know I have a lot of respect for you and I didn't mean to drag you into the middle of this. Your channel just has, happens to be a great reference point because A, you're a really big YouTuber and B, you're not black. So I can look at your channel and then I can look at my channel or look at anyone else's channel and make sure that the things and the games that you play all that they're enforcing the rules equally to everybody. So I go to Markiplier's Mortuary Assistant part three and he had the same situation going on and his video wasn't age restricted. So I send the video to my YouTube rep. I say, hey, um, Markiplier has this situation in his video, but his isn't age restricted. Could you send that to the policy team and see what they say about that? What do you think happened after that? I'll give you a second. They came back and they removed my age restriction. They took it off. I expected them to triple down and give Markiplier an age restriction too. But they looked at Mark's video and they used that to verify my innocence. So what he's saying here is that YouTube used Markiplier's video to confirm that Corey's video shouldn't be age restricted, which if you think about it is pretty messed up. You shouldn't have to show YouTube a video made by another YouTuber to prove that your own video meets the guidelines. The guidelines themselves should do that on their own. So again, I kind of get the frustration. I guess it's worth noting that Corey had his video's age restriction reapplied, but then Markiplier was also slapped with an age restriction as well. He uses this as proof that YouTube is like trying to cover themselves up or something. So I send my YouTube rep a lengthy email detailing my feelings about the, the entire situation, feeling like there was some favoritism at play. There was either that or some racism at play. So another day, another two days go by. And what do you know? They re-age restricted the video. I go to Markiplier's video now and now his video is age restricted. They got caught with their pants down. They got called out and then they had to go back and say, oh, whoa, 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 okay. We see the narrative that he's kind of pushing here. We need to take some steps back. 
We need to just age restrict them both and be done with it. Honestly, I just think it highlights how out of touch the YouTube staff is. No need for this conspiratorial nonsense. Here, he talks about how he feels that YouTube pushes him down and tries to suppress him, right? He don't upload much, but apparently when he does, he'll get on trending only to then get a copyright strike or something happened to him. I've been feeling like this for a long time. I've been feeling like every single time that I come back to YouTube, I'm number one trending for a few days and then they find some arbitrary issue. They nitpick and they try and find something that they can incriminate me for and try to push me down. You don't believe me? What happened the last time I came back and I was number one trending for like a week? They copyright strike me for a video that was in 2019 or something like that. But you know, I kind of wonder if YouTube was really trying to bring this guy down, why are they putting him on trending in the first place? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there was a thing with, I think it was with Adobe, he was blacklisted from getting on the trending page. So it's definitely in YouTube's power to do that, but they ain't doing it to Corey. It don't make sense when you think about it. Again, I get the frustration, but I don't think he's correct in the motivations. YouTube's known to be a broken platform after all. Why is my channel so much more thoroughly scrutinized? Especially so when I've been number one trending multiple days in a row, which I've done multiple times. And every single time I start to get an uptick in traction, an uptick in activity, you here comes YouTube coming through. Hey, um... Uh, uh, let's get him for that video from 2019. Yeah, you see this, Corey? No, this is bad. Again, I really don't get this whole thing where, oh, YouTube's trying to bring me down. The man's keeping me down. Look, this guy has 14 million subscribers and gets hundreds of thousands of them each month. He gets millions of views per day without even uploading consistently, which is something that not a lot of YouTubers can pull off. And he's arguing that YouTube is stomping down on him, which on a level is true, don't get me wrong, but just not on the level that he thinks it is. If YouTube really wanted to limit your growth, they'd remove you from the algorithm as they have with tons of YouTubers. They'd make sure your videos never get recommended. They'd make sure they'd never be on the sidebar. So between that and the fact that you are just huge, just massive, I just don't see what you're saying. How do you expressly prove that someone is a racist? I mean, unless they're spamming the N-word in the chat. How, how do you really know? And admittedly, I cannot 100% prove that race had everything to do with this. But I can tell you the people on that policy team, those shadow people that are anonymous and get to enact their will however they see fit. How can we be sure that they take a black person's video and a white person's video and it can be the same exact video and they restrict the black person's video, but not the white person's video. Now this part, he kind of has a point on, while I don't think there's a racist Illuminati in the company, there might be one or two who have less than savory ideals, it's possible. But to imply this is a company-wide conspiracy is bonkers. And to an extent, he does acknowledge this. It just seems to me that this is being done at an individual level, right? If there were other black creators noting this, maybe I'd change my tune. But as it stands, it just don't seem that way. He makes a point about the trend in I believe there is some racism involved within the policy team and YouTube in general really doesn't care about black people like that. Um, they got their favorite creators, you know, log out of YouTube, log out and go to YouTube. You'll see the people on the front page every single day. You'll see the favorites. And I don't really get it. I mean, I checked it and I, I don't know, I saw a fair amount of black creators, but even then, like, okay, there's more white people on the trending page than black ones. Like what, do you want YouTube to pay attention to race when they put people on trending now? Well, he talks about how we don't like the special attention that they give to people of color. So I don't know, like, I don't know what he's trying to say here. I don't know, that's all I wanted to respond to. Again, I'll make this clear. This is someone who's definitely getting screwed over and it just ain't right. It just ain't. And favoritism, yeah, definitely a lot of that going on too. Seems like a lot of us creators gotta abide by rules that others don't, like rappers or talk show hosts. It's damn frustrating, especially since this guy is huge, you'd think that YouTube would pay him more mind. So I do agree with most of the video, like the main points, but when he goes off on this company-wide conspiracy that's keeping him down, that's where I'm like, I don't know. I mean again, look at this guy's analytics, like you almost objectively cannot say that YouTube is blatantly holding this guy down, I, I don't know. And on the topic of racism, YouTube is a 
company that prides itself on progressivism. Whether or not their progressive ideals are legitimate or not, don't matter. They want to look progressive at the end of the day. It just makes you think, why would YouTube go out of its way to be racist or whatever if they're trying to cultivate such an image? I guess I've made enough people mad for the night, so I think I'll cut it off there. That's all I've got for this shtick. Nah, you guys do all jack your favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.